here's how you can make ChatGPT respond to your customers and to write just about anything that you need to. So we're gonna try to go over it really fast. This is AI in five. And if you don't know anything about this, let me quickly tell you what's up. Uh, so my name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast newsletter and tutorial resource to help you understand and use everything AI. So let's do that real quick and explain what we're doing here. So this was actually something that we talked about uh, on the episode today with Patrick Mva. So make sure to check that episode out. So let's just say as an example, we want to respond to all of these different reviews here. So this is a, a breakfast place that I like called the Breakfast Club and Grill uh, in Chicago. So let's go ahead and, and show what we're going to do. So we're going to go a little quick here, but this is a software called Texao. So it's a web scraping software. So there's all this information out there on the web and we need to pull it in so then we can ask ChatGPT to help uh, respond. So for now, I'm just going to ask for five reviews just to make this go a little quicker. And hopefully we can get to it all in a pretty, pretty short amount of time. So again, to recap, we are grabbing all of these uh, reviews from a Google My Business Place. All we did was we uh, grabbed the URL, we put it into uh, this this uh, program called Texao, and the uh, kind of the the feature what we're using is to collect reviews from Google Maps. So it has all these kind of pre built uh, features, and uh, let's let's see. It should just be uh, it should just be a second here, and uh, it looks like we're done. So I'm going to click Result. All right, we got it. We got these examples. I'm going to download the CSV. All right, and then give me a second. I'm actually going to, in a different window here, I'm going to import it, uh, but then I'll show you what that looks like once we're done importing. All right, here we go. So we'll see if we can get it under five minutes, guys. So this brought in a lot of information that we don't necessarily need. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cleaning up this spreadsheet very quick. All I really want is the name of the person, um, the review content, and that's it. I don't need anything else for now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these other columns, and then I'm going to put just a response column, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and format this a little bit. And that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and just say, call this uh, Breakfast Club reviews and i'm going to export this to download it as a csv and that's it all right so now we're going to jump into chat gpt so a new uh kind of mode is called code interpreter and it's uh we could spend hours on this but i'm going to show you just one thing it can do so i'm uploading my spreadsheet now uh which is just that breakfast club reviews all right and then i have a prompt here that i already typed so i'm just going to type it in and explain as I give it a second to work. So all I'm saying is please analyze the content of each review message and write a unique and specific response to each review in a way that addresses specifically what they said and thanks them for their business. Please craft a personalized response to each review and uniquely reply to each individual review. All right, so why is this helpful? Well, if you really wanna grow your business, especially a local service-based business, you have to write responses to Google reviews. So a lot of bigger companies get dozens of reviews a day and it can be time consuming. So this is something that you could just do as an example, you know, once or twice a week where you are uh, responding to all of these in bulk. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, it looks like we had an error. So this is a new, um, you know, like like I said, this is a new code interpreter was just released. So it can be buggy at times. So let's just try it one more time and see if we can get it to work or not. All right, let's try again. So as a reminder, while we wait for this, uh, check out this uh, our AI in five segment. Uh, we we do this every single day, uh, weekdays, Monday through Fridays. We help you find uh, new tools and how to just use things like ChatGPT, Bard, Bing Chat, Runway, all of that. So it's done. So it's spitting out um, very specific. So as an example. Uh, it's, it's even, you know, going into the specifics of the reviews, it's talking, it looks like this person left a review on the traditional egg Benedict. So 
a lot of times with Google reviews, they're, they're generic and people just say, oh, thank you for coming. And it's just copy and paste. And it's not a great way to, to build brand loyalty, but I get it because it can be hard. You know, in, in Patrick's case, uh, who was on the show today, he has eight separate local businesses that he's, he's keeping track of. So this is a great way. And as you can see right here, it just did all of our work for us. It individually responded to these. So, so think of doing something like this by the dozens or hundreds or thousands. And it doesn't just have to be for customer reviews. This is just the example that we gave. So you can see the, uh, the power of using something like this. So as a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else like us that are helping everyday people use and understand AI. So I hope this was helpful and uh, please join us next time uh, for AI in 5. Thanks.